हरिस्तुति ही श्लोका फोर्टीन सर्वत्रैक पश्यति जिघ्रथ भुंक्ते स्प्रष्टा श्रोता बुद्ध्यति चेत्याहुरीम्यम साक्षी चास्ते कर्तृषु पश्यन्नी चान्ये तम संसारध्वांत विनाशम हरिमीडे अन्वय सर्वत्र एक पश्यति जिघ्रति अथ भुंक्ते स्प्रष्टा श्रोता बुद्ध्यति च इति यम इमम आहु अन्ये च कर्तृषु पश्यन् साक्षी आस्ते इति यम इमम आहु तम संसार ध्वांत विनाशम हरिम ईडे सो द बेस मीनिंग विल बी सर्वत्र एकः देयर इज ओनली वन ब्रह्मन एंड देयर इज नो सेकंड इन ऑल द बीइंग्स एंड दैट ब्रह्मन इज पश्यति seeing as though a seer and then jighrati it is that brahman picking up any fragrance through the nose and then atha bhungte it is the same who is also uh, the one who eats food and then sprashta is one who is given to the sense of touch then shrota is a hearer of sounds buddhya teacher and also it is this only one who knows the past can recall and then aware is aware of the present actions also iti yam imam ahu in this way the one who is understood that is one who is understood as i am the seer i am the one who can pick up a smell i am the one who is eating and uh, uh, can uh, uh, get the feel of touch i am the one who is listening to the sounds etc all this in ignorance the one who is understood to be and then anye cha the others here the others means the wise who have understood the truth about the i de kartrishu in and through all the actions being performed they understand aste pashyan sakshi aste means they remain they remain as the i who is pashyan sakshi do is seeing everything as a seer is only a witness being uninvolved in every action that is the i iti that brahman who is known tam samsara dhvanta vinasham hari mede i worship that hari the destroyer of ignorance which causes samsara now we will look at the detailed meaning of this verse in this verse lord vishnu as the unchanging consciousness nirvikara chaitanya vastu who is taken to be the doer karta bhokta etc when one is ignorant of the nature of the self that vishnu is described and praised let's look at two shruti mantras which establish that atma the self is not the karta the doer shvetashvatara upanishad says eko deva sarva bhuteshu gudha sarva vyapi sarva bhutantar atma karma dhyaksha sarva bhutaadhi vasah sakshi cheta kevalo nirgunascha the meaning of this shloka would be ekah this word means brahman or atma both mean the same this atma is only one which implies there is no second by saying one it means there is no other why because 
Atma essentially has no parts. It is niravayavaha. So, there is no second at all. There is nothing else other than Atma. Now, this rules out the differences which are uh, portrayed in the Puranas as Brahma, Vishnu, Rudra, the different gods. Then, Devaha, that word brings out the meaning Swaprakasha Chidrupaha. This Atma is self-effulgent and in the form of Chit, consciousness, where present in all the beings, Sarva Bhuteshu. Then, why do we not have uh, direct experience of him because he is gudhaha as though a secret not available for objectification by the senses so ignorance of the self covers this fact from being known therefore this atma is gudhaha then again this atma is sarvavyapi this Brahman is all pervading because he is not limited by time, space and object. As we have already seen in earlier uh, shlokas, Brahman is beyond time limitation, space limitation and object wise limitation. Then the mantra says Sarva Bhutantaratma. This Brahman has as though entered every being and remains as the Jivatma. So, this Brahman is the Karma Dhyakshaha, which means associated with Maya Shakti. This Brahman is known as Ishwara, who gives everyone the results of their actions. This Ishwara is the Karma Phaladata. Then the next word Sarva Bhutadhi Vasaha means all the elements and beings in the creation they abide in this Brahman. So Brahman is the substratum for everything. Then the next word Sakshi says this Brahman is uninvolved in all the actions but only because of his presence, every action takes place. So, Brahman is witness consciousness. Sakshi Cheta. Then, although he is a witness, Sakshi, he is free from any kind of attributes. So, Kevalo Nirgunascha. Now, uh, there is another very beautiful Shruti Mantra which occurs both in Shvetashvatara Upanishad as well as the uh, Mundaka Upanishad. It brings out how the uh, self is only a witness to everything. Dva Suparna Sayuja Sakhaya Samanam Vriksham Parishasvajate Tayoho Anyaha Pippalam swadu atti anashnan anyaha abhichakashiti. Here the meaning will be like this. Two shining birds, dva suparna, which are always together, sayuja, and they are sakhaya, both have the same origin, they are friends, and then samanam. On the same Vriksham tree, Parishasvajate, they are said to be perched. Tayoho Anyaha, of these two birds, one bird, Pippalam Swadu Atti, fruits of many different tastes, uh, varieties of tastes, it eats. That means varieties of fruits. This bird tastes and eats, enjoys the taste. And then the other one, Anyaha. What does the other one do? Anyaha. Without eating. Anashnan. Without eating, it just watches. 
Abhichakashiti. See, this is a very beautiful imagery of two birds which are perched on the same tree. Samsara is compared to a tree because it is something which can be felled. A tree can be felled. On this tree of samsara, two birds are perched. One bird flutters around gathering fruits and enjoying them. Then it gathers karma phala and it experiences it. So it is a bhokta and a karta. It is an enjoyer, an experiencer and it is a doer. This is the jiva bird. The other bird just witnesses this bird. It blesses this bird by lighting up all its experiences and providing the infrastructure for it to go around and do whatever it wants. It lends its existence, satta and awareness, chaitanyam to this bird and that bird is Ishwara. Because the jiva bird cannot do anything without the presence of the other bird, it comes back to the tree again and again. This fluttering bird has to recognize, I am in reality the watching bird. Then it fells the tree or it cuts asunder the tree of samsara and becomes free from sorrow. Thus, these two mantras establish that in ignorance, one is a doer and an enjoyer of actions and then has to go through pain and sorrow. But in fact, the true nature of the Atma is witness consciousness. Brahman is Sakshi Chaitanyam. Here that Brahman is known in the uh, verse in and through all these shlokas as Vishnu who is praised particularly in this shloka as the first word in the shloka is Sarvatra Ekaha. This Vishnu is said to be in all the beings as though entered that is starting from Brahmadi Sthavaranteshu Karya Karana Sanghateshu. It is this all pervading Vishnu who has as though entered the whole creation starting from Brahma the creator to all the objects which are not moving, which are stationary and in all the body mind sense complex. It has as though entered Sarvatra. Although vastutaha ekaha eva sannapi, although it is the only one, bahudha pravibhaktaha, it appears as though many in different names and forms. And then what does this Brahman do? Pashyati means darshana vyaparam karoti. It is seeing everything through the organ of the eye. And is as though a seer. The action of seeing this Brahman seems to be performing. Then Jigrati. It is as though the one who is given to picking up any kind of smell and fragrance with the nose. Further Bhungte. It is as though the one who is eating and experiencing the fruits of actions. Then Sprashta. It is this Brahman who is as though the perceiver of heat and cold with the skin which picks up the sense of touch. Then Shrota, one who can hear the sounds. So this Brahman is the hearer. Buddhyati, one who is in the intellect, remaining in the intellect, the one who knows the past and is also Awareful of the present. Then this uh, avyaya cha. It includes all the other sensory perceptions. And uh, all the cognitions. 
iti imam thus it appears like all the worldly transactions which are experienced are experienced by this atma only and this understanding is in ignorance this is what some say some people talk about this brahman as the one who is the doer the seer the one who is smelling the one who is eating the one who can understand the feel of touch the one who is listening one who is talking one who is walking is the i it is some talk about this brahman and anye cha kartrushu the others how do they talk about this i they are the wise ones who have a highly discriminatory intellect then for them this same brahman uh, is known in the intellect through all the cognitions and actions performed how is he known as pashyan visualized or uh, as the one who awares the actions which are performed and knows that the actions are being performed by the body mind sense complex but in reality paramarthatah i am only a sakshi witness who is uninvolved but extending consciousness and not really the doer or enjoyer of anything like this the wise can understand the truth about the i so you see it is the same brahman who is perceived as the doer and the experiencer while in ignorance but when this ignorance is removed in the wake of knowledge about the self the same i is understood as brahman so in the wake of knowledge of the self the very self is recognized as brahman so thus the shastra reveals that all that is here is brahman the jagat is brahman and the jiva who is looking at the jagat is also brahman until this knowledge becomes clear the jiva like the second bird is seen as a separate entity when one knows atma the self as brahman then there is only one ishvara sarvatra ekah so this brahman is praised and worshiped as vishnu as hari in this verse so that one can become free from being a samsari tam samsara dhvanta vinasham hari mide सर्वत्रैक पश्यति जिघ्रथ भुंक्ते स्प्रष्टा श्रोता बुद्ध्यति चेत्याहुरिमम्यम साक्षी चास्ते कर्तृषु पश्यन्निति चान्ये तम संसार ध्वान्त विनाशम हरिमेडे नमस्ते